Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas confirmed today that no migrants remain at the bridge encampment in Del Rio, Texas. This is a dramatic development nearly a week after 15,000 people, most of them Haitians, converged at the border crossing. According to Mallorca, since, since Sunday, 17 repatriation flights have returned about 2,000 Haitian nationals to Haiti. About 12,000 individuals were relocated and will have their cases heard by an immigration judge to make a determination on whether they will be removed or permitted to remain in the United States. Roughly 8,000 have decided to remain in Mexico. Many migrants face expulsion because they are not covered by protections extended by the Biden administration called temporary protected status that granted more than 100,000 Haitians the right to remain on American soil if they were here prior to Jan July 29th. Mayorkas once again reiterated the administration's determination that despite a recent presidential assassination and earthquake, Haiti is capable of receiving return nationals. The administration has relied on a rarely used public health law invoked by the Trump administration called Title 42, to suspend all entry to prevent the spread of the pandemic. Critics are calling for an end to the use of Title 42. Earlier in the day, President Biden took responsibility for what was happening at the border. Of course I take responsibility. I'm president, but it was horrible what to see, as you saw. To see people treated like they did, horses barely running them over, people being strapped, it's outrageous. I promise you those people will pay. While they're willing to take responsibility, it doesn't look like the administration will end expulsions anytime soon. Vice President Harris, the administration's point person on immigration at the southern border, did acknowledge that more had to be done to help Haiti during a rather weirdly belated appearance on The View. We've got to do more. There's no question. The United States is a member of the Western Hemisphere. Haiti is our neighbor in that regard. And so we have to do more in terms of supporting the Haitians who are returning to the island, returning to Haiti. We've got to do more without any question to support Haiti in terms of its need to, to get back up and to recover. For more, I'm joined by Patrick Gaspard, president of the Center for American Progress former ambassador to South Africa, and former White House political director during the Obama administration. He toured the Del Rio encampment yesterday. And Patrick, it's always great to see you. Um, Department of Homeland Security Secretary Mayorkas has been doing a round of media interviews on CNN, on MSNBC. I, he was on this program as well last week. But I want to let you hear his latest comments about whether or not Haiti ought to, in its current state, be receiving migrants. We have continued to study the conditions in Haiti, and we have, in fact, determined, despite the tragic and devastating earthquake, that Haiti is, in fact, capable of receiving individuals. And we are working with Haiti and with humanitarian relief agencies to ensure that their return is as safe and humanely accomplished as possible. Based on what you know about what's going on in Haiti right now, do you agree with that? Absolutely not. I, I uh, respectfully disagree with my friend, Secretary Mayorkas. I, let, me, let me first, uh, Joy, uh, acknowledge the progress we did make today. It's terribly important that in two separate appearances, the president and the vice president acknowledged that what occurred at the border was inhumane, reprehensible, and harken back to some of the worst history that we've had here in the U.S. The president said there would be consequences, and we're beginning to see that. I'll also acknowledge that Secretary Mayorkas is now allowing migrant asylum seekers to come into the U.S. to have their cases adjudicated. We don't have transparency. There are human rights attorneys who need to provide counsel uh, to those asylum seekers. And I, I was in Haiti right before the pandemic, uh, Joy, uh, even before the pandemic. Uh, folks were still reeling from the earthquake. They were reeling from uh, tropical storms. And there was profound political violence uh, in the country. Uh, as a consequence of the illegal, unconstitutional extension of President Mo uh, Jovenel Moïse's term. Uh, he tragically was assassinated in July. We need to appreciate that there's a connection between the dislocations in Haiti, the policies that we've supported there, uh, and what we're see now seeing uh, at the border. So I respectfully disagree with the, with the secretary uh, on that one point, even while acknowledging the progress uh, that they made in very short order. I also want to say, Joy, but we have to acknowledge that advocacy works uh, because the combined vo voices of Americans who said this is not us uh, compelled the uh, administration to act.